is my voice audible and my screen visible to all of you okay all right this is something very easy uh, you people should have already got the answers this would be 48 percent this would be 35 percent this would be 45 percent and this one would be 33.33 percent any questions or any difficulties in question number one? So you have to express the first quantity as a percentage of the second. So 24 is what percentage of 50? So in order to do that, you simply have to do 24 divided by 50, multiply by 100. Right? For the second one, if I have to express 7 as a percentage of 20, so what that means 7 out of 20 into 100 similarly if i have to express 9 as a percentage of 20 i have to do 9 out of 9 over 20 into 100 okay shall we move to question number two a hockey team plays 42 matches so they have played 42 matches, they win 21, uh, draw 14, and lose the rest. Express each of these results as a percentage of total number of games played. Alright, answers in the chat box. How do we do this? This is just the uh, statement of a similar question as question number one. But in English form, you have to convert it into a mathematical expression and then solve that mathematical expression. Anybody who does not understand question number two? Ms. No, do you understand question number two? You don't understand question number two. Do you understand question number one? So in question number two, you have to do the same that you have done in question one, except for now you are told that total matches played by a hockey team is 42. Out of the 42 matches that they have played, they have won 21. 14 matches ended in a draw and they lost the rest of the matches. So you have to give percentages for all three. For wins, what percentage of matches they won? what percentage of matches ended as a draw and what percentage of mess, uh, matches did they lose out of means that total is 20 and then you take 7 out of it i mean from this whole 20 so like we discussed in the last class if you have three siblings and you are one out of three if you have two brothers those two brothers would be two out of three so how many from the whole lot? Two hundred percent. So you are saying they played forty two matches and won eighty four. Two hundred percent means double the amount. How could you play one match and win two? But why did you do that? You have to take portion out of total. So portion would be they won 21. So if I have to calculate percentage of how many matches they won, it would be 21 out of 42. 21 over 42 into 100. Fifty percent. Uh, 
and then for draw what do we do we say they add 14 draws out of 42 into 100 so 14 by 42 1 by 3 33.33 percent miss noor are you there Ms. Noor Samad. How do we do for the matches they have lost? So first we calculate the number of matches they have lost. What's the number of matches that they have lost? So the matches they have lost are 42 minus 21 because the ones they have won they couldn't have lost those and then minus 14 since these matches ended in a draw they were also not lost from the total if I deduct these two I will get the number of matches lost right how much is that 42 minus 21 minus 14 Miss Noor how much is that Seven out of 42, seven matches. And then for those seven matches, if I have to calculate percentage, I'll do seven by 42 into 100. Hmm. Fifty over three. Hmm. Sixteen point six seven percent. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Here is another way you could have done that. I told you that when we are calculating the percentages, the total is one hundred percent. So if total is one hundred percent, out of those one hundred percent, fifty percent they won, and then thirty three percent they were a draw. So hundred minus 50 minus 33.33 this would also give you the same answer 16.67 percent so whichever way you want to calculate it both would be giving you the same answer you should know both the methods understood any questions none good quickly moving on to question number three quickly your answers for question number three Anybody who can explain me how we do question number three, Sir Arman. Sir Arman, how do we do question number three? Miss Aisha, how do we do question number three? If I am dividing it over 4, I am just distributing the votes that have been received by 1 candidates into 4. What would that give me? This division and multiplication, it means something. So if you are dividing 24,500 over 4, that would simply divide votes of 1 candidate into 4. Is that what is asked by the question? What does the question ask? Question asks, these are the votes received by the 4 candidates. 
how do i calculate percentage for each of these candidates miss so if i multiply it with 100 what would that give me that would just make the votes received by 1% 100 times of that excellent just a slight mistake ha huh? just a slight mistake you first of all find the total that's what you said right and then you don't divide by 100 you divide by the total so the first step that you, any of you would do is you would add the four candidates votes so 24 500 plus 18 200 plus 12 000 plus 16 300 that would give you the total votes and now out of those total votes you would be dividing each ones so 24 500 divided by total that would multiply by 100 that would give you for the first one then 18 200 divided by total into 100 that would give you for candidate b the same way for candidate c and the same way for candidate d so now that you know how to do it please quickly solve it and give me your answers miss anam and miss noor especially looking forward to your answers for question number 3 quickly please question 3 hmm miss to have you understood how we solve question number 3 Yes, Noor. Okay. No, sir. We're gonna put the number divided by the thousand. Madam, I just told you. First, we will have to find the total votes. So, the total votes that are casted in the elections, those would be Allah Akbar. Those would be. Twenty-four five hundred plus eighteen thousand two hundred plus sixteen thousand three hundred plus twelve thousand. How much is this? This is the total votes. Total votes. Then we take each candidate and divide his votes over total. that would give me the percentage so the same way i have to calculate you as a percentage of sibling of your siblings first i will count total siblings and then i will divide you a single candidate over the total number of siblings that's how i find you as a percentage of your total siblings right so whenever we are calculating percentages we are concerned with the total number and then the portion for which we are trying to calculate percentage we divide that portion over total and multiply that with 100 what what's the total how much is the total votes i am also asking something what's the total votes casted what's the number of total votes casted anyone Miss Aisha. Okay, seven votes. It's seventy-one thousand votes. Okay, and then how do I calculate? This is the total votes casted. Now, if I have to calculate percentage for candidate A, what do I do? I take his votes, which are twenty-four five hundred, and I divide that twenty-four five hundred over seventy-five thousand. So twenty-four five hundred. Divided by seventy one thousand. Sorry, seventy one thousand multiplied by one hundred. Eight 
anyone what's the percentage It would be 34.5%. You do 24,500 divided by 71,000. How did you get 4%? Mm -hmm. So 18,200 divided by 71,000. This would be 25.63%. And then for candidate C, what do I do? 16,300 divided by 71,000. And the answer multiplied with 100. 16.3 divided by 71. That gives me 22.96%. And then finally, the last one, 12,000 divided by 24,500 into 100. No, not 24,500, 71,000. What am I doing? For the previous one, what did I do? 71,000, fine. 71,000. So 12 divided by 71. 16.9%. 16.9%. Anybody who is still confused about how we solve this question, now would be a good time to raise your concerns. Yes, anyone? Did you all get answers for all the parts? What's wrong with it? Can you all hear me? Okay. So now that we have seen this question three, please go ahead and solve question number four. It is quite similar to the one before it, question three. Your answers for question four. Did you all solve question number three? Does anyone of you watch movies? Has anyone watched the movie which stars Will Smith, I am legend. Okay. Good. Question four, please. Sir Arman, looking forward to your answer for question four. I'm not receiving your answers in the chat today. Is everything all right? G, Sir Arman. Why am I not receiving your answers in the chat today? Where are you? Please quickly solve question four and uh, give me your answer for all the requirements of question number four.
जी दैट इज हाउ वी डू इट मिस अनम एंड मिस आयशा वेर आर यू कैमरा स्टैंड ऑफ प्लीज डोंट मेक मी से दिस अगेन एंड अगेन ड्यूरिंग द क्लास यू नो द प्रोटोकॉल ऑफ द क्लास यू हैव टू कीप योर कैमराज ऑन कीप दैम ऑन Mr. Nam, are you there? What did I just say? Yes, madam. Yes, sir. You do that. If you don't multiply it with hundred, you get the answer in decimal form. Nee, you need the answers in fract uh, in the percentage form. I'm just saying what would happen if you don't multiply with one hundred. You should multiply with one hundred. Excellent, thirty-five point five percent. Next. Which one? Blue is forty-eight divided by one fifty-five, which is thirty point nine. So it would be thirty-one point zero or thirty point nine percent. We can say thirty-one percent. White would be seventeen point seven percent. Good. Next. Silver. Six point six percent. Excellent. Green one is six percent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Well done. Good job. All right. Uh, let's take it a notch up. Hmm. So now what we do is we solve. more questions and that is what we do control v then all right look at these questions and let me know if there is anything that you find ambiguous or don't understand question number 1 Miss Anam, question one A answer. All right, let me do the first one for you. So it says that increase the following number by the given percentage. So the numbers are given. The first number is how much? One fifty. 
आई हैव टू इंक्रीज वन फिफ्टी बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सो वट आई हैव टू डू इज आई हैव टू कैलकुलेट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ वन फिफ्टी एंड देन एड दैट टू वन फिफ्टी बट दैट वुड इन्वॉल्व टू स्टेप्स फर्स्ट आई कैलकुलेट द परसेंटेज एंड देन आई एड दैट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डू इट इन वन गो वन फिफ्टी इट सेल्फ इज हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ इट सेल्फ राइट सो इफ आई एड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट टू इट इट मीन्स दैट आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ वन फिफ्टी सो वन फिफ्टी इंटू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ओके एंड इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वन फिफ्टी इट सेल्फ हाउ मच इज इट वन फिफ्टी एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ वन फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ वन फिफ्टी हाउ मच वुड इट बी हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड देन आई हैव टू इंक्रीज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट सो वट हैपन्स वेन आई एड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट टू हंड्रेड परसेंट इट बिकम्स हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ओके Similarly, if you want to do it still faster, one twenty-five percent. If I convert it in decimal form, what would it be? One point two five. One twenty-five divided by one hundred would be one point two five. So I say one fifty into one point two five. This would be. This would increase one fifty by twenty-five percent. the answer would be anyone Just 187.5 and now if you want to do it separately step by step quickly calculate 25% of 150 that would be 0.25 into 150 That's twenty five percent of one fifty. How much is it? Thirty seven point five. And if I add thirty seven point five to one fifty, I would still be getting the same answer. If you want to check quickly, go ahead and check. If you first calculate twenty five percent of one fifty, you get thirty seven point five. And if you add thirty seven point five, if you increase one fifty by this amount, one fifty plus thirty seven point five. it would be 187.5 so your choice if you want to do it in two steps and your choice if you want to do it in just one step one go i've told you both the methods quickly if you could give me answers for uh the remaining or let's say b and e if i increase 230 by 40% what would the answer be Anyone answer? Can I do like fifteen plus three seven five zero one fifty plus thirty seven point three seven five zero divided by hundred? You can, but that would be a lot complicated. Where did you get three seven five zero divided by hundred? Twenty five. percent hmm you can you can but we are always looking for the easiest and the calculation which would involve the least step so that we are able to do the question as quickly as possible you can you would be getting the same answer mr arman answer for part e Ms. Anam, answer for part E. Twelve point five percent divided by one hundred would be point one two five. Decimal would move two spaces back. Check on your calculator as well if you want to. Twelve point five divided by hundred, it would be point one two five.
that is why i asked you to focus a lot on the fractions and decimals and the percentages portion when we were doing that there it looked easy but here on every next class that we go whatever we spent the entire previous class on it would be just a very small component in the next upcoming questions so if you haven't done practice of that you would be stumbling on this one i had sent you people a practice sheet as well for uh, the previous four chapters i wonder how many of you did that miss aisha did she sent me her solutions sir arman question number 1e what is the answer वन ई हॉडेड बिकम थ्री ट्वेंटी टू इट इज द आंसर फॉर वन सी थ्री ट्वेंटी टू वट अबाउट वन ई यस इट वुड बी नाइंटी ओके नाउ लेट्स डू वन क्रेजी वन ओके this one one day anybody who can give me answer for this one i could i send you people gifts so if anybody does well here is the gift for you small gifts like candies or stuff but still giveaways 70 increase by 250% so first of all 70 into 350 percent or 70 into 3.5. The answer would be 245. Did you say 245? 245 is the answer. 245. So 70 itself is 100 percent. You have to increase by two it it by 250 percent. So 70 becomes 350 percent when I increase it by 250 percent. So seventy into three fifty percent, or seventy into three point five. Got it? Okay. Question number two. How about? Hmm. Can I do what? It is two fifty percent, not twenty five percent. In A, we increased by twenty five percent. So initially, it was hundred percent. If we increase twenty five percent on that, it becomes one hundred and twenty five percent. And if we increase by two fifty percent, it becomes hundred percent plus two fifty percent, which is three fifty percent. And three fifty percent is three point five. Okay. All right. Question number two, part D E. and f quickly anybody answer for part d e and f question number 2 hmm correct so for decrease what we will have to do if a number decreases by 10% it was originally 100% if i take away 10% 90% of it is left so 1000 into 90% or 90 by 100 or 0.9 that would be 900 similarly for part e a number decreases by 37.5% If it decreases by thirty-seven point five percent, how much of it remains? So hundred minus thirty-seven point five, ah, sixty-two point five percent of the number it remains. So eighty into sixty-two point five percent, or eighty into point six two five, six two five. So the answer would be fifty. For the last part. it says 75 it decreases by 42% so if it decreases by 42% what remains is 58% so 
so 58 percent of 75 75 into 0.58 that would be 43.5 so 43.5 or 40 whole, 43 whole 1 by 2 all right Achha ji. let's move to the next question many of you two of you at least aren't here so we we'll defer the test to the next class we we'll defer the text to the next class i'd send you test separately later on when you are there i'd send you the test and i'll give you the time within which you can solve okay uh let's see let's see in the following questions the first number is increased to become the second number can anybody tell me how i solve this one obviously i'll explain but if any of you would like to have a go and explain sir arman are you there You don't look like yourself today. You're too silent. How do I solve question number three? Then good. Is that it? So, for example, if I take the uh, difference of the two amounts, 60 minus 50, it is 10. And if I multiply 10 with 100, I get 1000. Is it 1000 percentage change? Anyone else would like to answer it? Ms. Aisha? Sir, always remember, when we have to calculate, this is called calculating the percentage of change. Calculating percentage of change. How much has a number changed by? So we take later minus initial divided by initial into 100. Okay. So for example, I'm 30 years old right now. My uh, age last year was 29 years. So how much has my age increased as compared to last year? It would be 30 minus 29, which would be 1. 1 out of 30 into 100. Oh, sorry, 1 out of 29 because the initial was 29. So 1 out of 29 into 100. So 1 divided by 29 is uh, 34 point, no, 3.45 percent. 3.45 percent. Okay. Similarly, you got some marks on the previous test. You got some different amount of marks on the next test what is the difference how do i calculate the percentage for the difference i i find the difference of the two numbers and then i divide that over the initial number miss anama why is your camera turned off why does it automatically get turned off and then stays turned off until i call you out Subhanallah. Who are you chatting with right now? Somebody? Ha. Ah, okay. So here, if we have to find the percentage of change, what we will do, we will take the later quantity, which is 60. We will deduct from it the initial quantity, which was 50. And we will divide it over the initial quantity, which was 50. So 60 minus 50 is 10. 10 by 50 is 1 by 5. And I'll multiply this 100 as well. So it would be 20%. Yes, Noor, all well. Where did you go? Wow, you weren't there in the meeting. Maybe the three of the students and I, we collectively went to Mars. Could be. Could be a possibility. Anyhow, uh, Mr. do you know how to calculate the percentage of change? 
so a number it becomes 135 initially it was 75 so can you tell me how how much percentage did it change by what's the change in percentage the rest of you please solve question number b e and f b e and f b e and f or in fact b e and d b d e Ms. Noor, do you know how to calculate the percentage of change? Ms. Noor, okay. Can you tell me the answer for question number B? Question number 3B. B. B for batsman. B for Barbie. Sir Arman, answer for question 3B. Obviously. So here is the method. First we calculate the change. How do we calculate the change? From the later quantity we minus the initial quantity. So 135 minus 75. What do we have? 60 over no madam it would be 60 over 75 into 100 which turns out to be 80 percent my calculator says 80 percent hmm. okay if you do it that way then that is why i had that is why I had that formula written over here, which I just erased. Let me put it back. So this is the formula you use to calculate the change in percent. From the later quantity, you minus the initial quantity. Later quantity is 135. Initial quantity was 75. So 135 minus 75. And then you divide it over the original or the initial quantity. So 135 minus 75. The answer divided by 75. So in this case, yes, yes, yes. Okay, anybody answer for part D? Eighty percent. Part D. Anyone? Sadarman. Mr. Arman Azim. How many of you understand Arabic? None of you? You understand Arabic? She does. Uh, it would be 5%. Excellent. Excellent. Sir Arman, you are there for the lol, but when I asked you a question on mathematics, you aren't there. What's this happening? Hmm? So what does that have to do with you not answering the questions? Mm -hmm. But you understand all the jokes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we calculate the change in the two quantities and we divide it over the initial quantity. Ms. Noor, what would be the answer for part E? Answer to part E. 85. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep.
बेड द चेंज इज वन पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट फाइव ओवर थर्टी इज हाउ मच थर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव माइनस थर्टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टीन माइनस फोर इज नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय फोर 225 परसेंट एक्सीडेंट मिस नूर एक्सीडेंट एनीबडी एल्स हु गॉट आंसर फॉर पार्ट एफ मिस नूर कुड यू प्लीज डू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर पार्ट डी ई एंड एफ पार्ट डी पार्ट ई एंड पार्ट एफ क्वेश्चन नंबर डी ई एंड एफ फो क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एफ पार्ट इट्स टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ई इज एटी फाइव परसेंट यस सर अरमान सॉरी Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Well done. Would you please move on and do question number five and six? Hmm. Just solve on your own. and type out the answer in the chat box please anybody who is confused about question number 4 d e and f did you get the same answers sir arman ms aisha and ms anam mm sorry again Mm, it would be in numbers. No, question number five. What is his percentage yield? Percentage. No. What is his present present yield? Present yield. It would be a number. It's not percentage. It would be present yield. It would be a number. Uh, a fraction or a number in decimal form. Ninety nine point eight. You say. No. See also run the sense check. Something it was sixty five hundred tons. It changed by only fifteen percent. Fifteen percent of sixty five hundred. Hmm. ओके लेट्स जस्ट वेट लेट्स जस्ट वेट फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ देम टू कैच अप अच्छा जी अच्छा जी अच्छा जी डी इज हंड्रेड परसेंट ई इज थर्टी सिक्स परसेंट एंड एफ इज फाइव परसेंट जस्ट लाइक जस्ट जीरो पॉइंट टू थ्री इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग जस्ट होल्ड ऑन जस्ट होल्ड ऑन ओके मिस आयशा मिस अनम एंड सर अरमान हैव यू डन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर थ्री पार्ट्स D E and F. You didn't do them. 
سبحان اللہ ماشاء اللہ جی میں سنم وڈ ڈیو تھنک क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर पार्ट डी ई एंड एफ सो यू वॉन्ट डू देम क्विकली सी इफ यू कैन गेट द सेम आंसर मिस नू जस्ट होल्ड ऑन द रेस्ट ऑफ देम वर जस्ट एंजॉइंग यूर परफॉर्मेंस सो लेट्स जस्ट वेट वेट फॉर देम टू कैच अप क्विकली 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 आंसर्स फॉर श्योर We need to finish this exercise today. Sir Arman, you also do. Why do I have to tell it separately to everyone? You also do the same questions. She did it fast. That's why I let her move to the next question. Sir Arman, question number four, D, E and F. Okay, I got it. Mm-hmm. All three, you got the same answers, Ms. Anam? Did you solve and get the same answers or did you just copy and get the same answers? Okay. Mr. Arman. Ms. Arman. Mrs. Arman. Oh. Finally, the answers are here. I say 36%. The last one is wrong. It should be 5%. Not 6%. Okay. Question number 5. Who can tell me how to do it? V minus. Let's see. A farmer increases the yield on his farm by 15%. So whatever his previous yield was, it increased by 15%. Right? Right? If his previous yield was 6500, the new yield would be 15% more of 6500. So 6500 into 115%. 6500 into 115%. Or 6500 into 1.15. Is Miss Noor there? She isn't. Miss Arman. Miss Arman left the meeting. Wow. I think he was trying to unmute himself. Anyhow. So here's what I do to get your attention from now onwards. If you people don't respond, I would change Miss and Mr. Okay, Miss Anam, your answer for question. Sorry. What about 6,500 again? Minus? There was, there, there was, I did not minus anything. Because it's not going to happen. For example, okay, one thing. Increase is usually represented by addition. If something is increasing, in order to get the final answer, should I add something to the original or should I subtract something from the original? If something is increasing, so for example, if your age is increasing, should I add a number to it or should I take away numbers from it? 
if your math score is improving should i add numbers to it or take away numbers from it so why is it for you that i add and for farmer i subtract just because he's a farmer a farmer increases the yield increases the yield so there was some previous yield and now he has increased it by how much by 15 percent 15 percent of what 15 percent of the original yield so whatever the original yield was that increased by 15 percent so original yield is given 6500 tons so 6500 increases by 15 percent so originally 6500 was 100 percent then it increased by 15 percent so it becomes 115 percent and 1.15 Miss Aisha, can you explain me what do we do for question number six? Miss Noor, are you back? Miss Noor Asamad. I just did a similar question. I just did a similar question. Apply your brains. Apply your brains and do the next question right. What's your native language, Miss Aisha? English. Okay, this is something that works for people like me. So my native language isn't English. So if I'm making an error in reading these questions or interpreting these questions what i usually do is i interpret them in my original language in my native language in my mother tongue and then at times i am able to see the right requirement of the question so how about you translate it in another language that you know how many languages do you know only one but you just said you know arabic too Ms. Anam, how many languages do you speak? Which ones? Okay. Ms. Noor, how many languages do you speak? Ms. Noor? Anyhow, solve question number six, whichever language, and please do it right. Logic is the same. We are using a logic that there is an original number. It is either increasing or decreasing. So we have separately learned how to do it for increase and separately learned how to handle it for decrease. Now they are giving the same statement in the English language. You just have to translate this English into mathematics and solve it. You did it. Wow. What's your answer? Subhanallah. Into it is 7.5. What? Dogs? Mangoes? Oranges? It is 7.5. What? percent so yes we'll do that original price c uh, okay the cost of a computer in a computer store is reduced by 12.5 percent so there was an original price that original price got reduced so the later price would be less than the original price okay the original price was 7800 and it reduced by 12.5 percent what was its price in the sale what was the reduced price uh, the reduced price was if i take away 12.5 percent from 7800 what remains is 87.5 percent so 7800 into 87.5 percent and the answer is
सिक्स एट टू फाइव वोट आई कैन सी द कीज ऑफ यू किलिंग सो ओरिजिनल प्राइस वॉज सेवेंटी एट हंड्रेड एंड यू सेट कम पीपल बाय फ्रॉम मी आई गिव यू अ डिस्काउंट एंड यू मेक द प्राइस सिक्सटी एट थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड That that is why I was saying you should do percentage. It is seven point five percentage. You didn't do divided by hundred. You didn't put the percentage sign, did you? Seventy eight hundred into it is seven point five percent. Percent means point eight seven five. Six eight two five is correct. She got sixty eight thousand five hundred sixty eight thousand two hundred and fifty something like that. She got extra two zeros which she shouldn't have been getting. G got it. G shall I extend the class? I really uh, want to finish this exercise today. Or are you people tired? Shall we keep it till here? Yes, Miss Anam. Tell me, Ji. Let's keep it till here. Let's keep it till here because you people are now giving funny answers. Acha, Ji. Um. Tell me. Let's keep it till here. See you in the next class, Inshallah. Uh, for homework, what do I do? I know if I give you homework from this, you would be giving answers. First of all, tell me. Just besides the point. See you in the next class. See you in the next class. Assalamualaikum.